Hey everyone, Lee here from Martin Lutzi Property Group with another weekly real estate market update. I do hope you're having a fantastic week. Uh, this week, I want to talk a little bit about the property market cycles. And a few weeks ago, I wrote an article about this, which can be found at my website, martinlutzi.com.au. And I talked about these 18-year cycles. Now, throughout those cycles, we experience periods of booms, downturns, stabilization, and growth. And what is clear now that's happening in the property market is that we've come from a seven-year period of growth and boom times, which is the last sort of 2020, 2021 in particular. And now we're coming into a period of probably stabilization and maybe even decline as well. And some of the charts that I've seen and, and been shared um, says that that'll run for a period of four years. So we're certainly starting to see that now, particularly in the southern markets that usually lead the way um, in those property market cycles, because that's where um, the population and the demand for property is much more significant than some of the regional areas or country areas around Australia as well. So what normally happens is that we'll see Sydney and Melbourne go through this period of growth and boom, um, just a snippet before we experience it up here on the Sunshine Coast. So it only makes sense that if they're starting to experiencing that stabilisation and even downturn now in those southern markets, that we will ultimately experience it up here sometime soon. However, with that being said, I just want to share some stats um, with the past week of activity. Now, yes, we've seen a bit of a slowdown in the markets here, but in the areas I operate in this sort of hinterland corridor here, we've seen a lot of activity and we listed uh, three new properties last week, which now all have multiple offers, two which are under contract and one which I predict will be under contract um, within the next 24, 48 hours because we've got multiple offers on it as well. Now, to say that the market's flat or even dead uh, in this area um, just boggles me because the experience that we're having is that for the A-grade properties, we're getting a lot of interest coming through on that. We had 29 groups through one hope and home. So three properties sold within a week of hitting the market is quite phenomenal. So the market is still quite good here, um, but where that's going to go, only time will tell. Now, we can see that inflation is skyrocketing up around 6%, I've been told. And the government's trying to tackle that as hard as they can, which is why they rose the cash rate last week um, by 0.5%, which is a, a record increase or since uh, 20 years ago. That's the largest increase that they've made. And now it's 0.85%, which may not seem a lot to a lot of people. But if you consider the rising cost of your mortgage repayments, um, so for an average loan of about $500,000, you are looking at about $200 a month. And then you can look at the price of fuel, energy, food, all these costs of living, the essential living costs, um, whilst wages still really haven't done much at all, um, mean that people are going to put more of their income into those essential items and will have less money to put into purchasing, i.e. property or, or luxury items as well. So that's why uh, it's starting to slow down south and that's why we think it'll start to slow down up here. And we'll go through that part of the cycle uh, for the next few years. So guys, that's my market update this week. Uh, lots of things happening out there. Lots of new properties coming to the market soon. As always, if there's anything we can help you with, give us a call. MPG with you all the way. Have a great day.